Okay, now you should see my my presentation. Yep, yep, we do. Okay. Sorry, closing one window so that I can uh, go with the, with the presentation. And uh, so the the, the uh, LibreOffice certification uh, is a project that uh, uh, has been created uh, a few years ago. Uh, it's working uh, uh, in all areas, uh, uh, but unfortunately, um, uh, as we intentionally didn't um, uh, invest a lot of time in communication because we wanted to have it in place and solid before uh, before um, uh, growing that to the uh, to the outside world. Uh, uh, we have a number of certified people, but most of them are uh, uh, well from the community until uh, more or less one year ago. So uh, we have developers that are handling their certification. Then we have uh, certification for people migrating uh, and for people training people. Uh, as I was saying, uh, two years ago, we started to receive more requests and uh, we, uh, uh, we started to um, certify people that were uh, not really uh, active or uh, present in the community uh, at the time. Um, but I will get to this uh, uh, later on. So what is uh, LibreOffice certification? Of course, certification in high technology is a designation uh, uh, that is uh, given to a person to demonstrate the competency uh, that he has in, uh, in a specific field. Um, when we certify to LibreOffice, we certify people in specific areas, which are, so there is not exactly a one-to-one -one correspondence with the with certification done, for instance, on Microsoft Office, where uh, it is more uh, a certification related to deployment and, uh, and training. Uh, we have migration, which is, uh, in the case of LibreOffice, is the deployment, but is a lot more complex because uh, it's not just deployment of a software, it's uh, deployment from uh, a software of, from users uh, that were using another software. And uh, this adds some complexity to the, to the picture. Uh, so certification uh, is recognized because when we started, people were saying, but why you need, we need certification of LibreOffice? Uh, these are a few slides that give you numbers about uh, the advantages of certification for people. Uh, what we have seen uh, in, in countries uh, where certification has been uh, um, used in uh, uh, let's say in a more aggressive way, and uh, I'm referring mainly to Italy, uh, it's probably because uh, uh, I'm based in Italy and uh, I've insisted with many people to get certified. We did communicate more certification in Italy. And uh, um, so in Italy, for instance, uh, in uh, um, several migrations now, uh, the fact that the migration has to be managed by someone certified is mentioned in the in in the request uh, for um, for external consultancy. Um, last uh, uh, example is the how uh, we have a, a um, kind of police that is. Uh, uh, referring to the Ministry of Finances, as uh, we, we call it Guardia di Finanza, is, the, um, is a military body that uh, has the, the task of uh, having people respect uh, the, the, the law that tells people to pay taxes. Uh, and uh, they uh, approached us uh, um, through the uh, Certified People page, page which was uh, uh, um, a demonstration that uh, when if you invest in communication, this works. So the idea at the moment is to uh, improve and become more aggressive in communication of uh, certification, uh, 
to uh, make this true in uh, in other uh, markets and in other geographies as well so certification is widely recognized in uh, in technology i'm just uh, going uh, through the slides but without a specific uh, a specific uh, relation so you have a wide certification by uh, people that is um, uh, uh, that is recognized to be con consultants uh, in general uh, in the general IT market I'm referring to the slide uh, uh, Y certification the first one where Todd Thibodeau which is the CEO of Comtia is speaking um but this is just to uh these slides are uh, just to um, show you that uh, it is important we we really need the, to invest more in certification and to make certification a reality uh, in uh, in the libreoffice environment um let's get to the to the slides where it says advantages of certification so the certification uh, uh, is a is a bolstering uh, uh, brand loyalty. Uh, if, if more people know how to use the product, more people will use the product. This uh, we have seen uh, it is a reality in uh, in markets where we have been able to be more aggressive in our um, in our communication. Uh, it adds value to the relationship because. Uh, uh, it allows um, companies to add uh, value added services and uh, this is uh, quite important uh, uh, and uh, has also a poly the third the, the third one has also a political value uh, the uh, usually when um, you you know uh, people uh, IBM was used to say no one uh, has never been fired by by choosing IBM, and uh, we can uh, paraphrase this uh, in uh, saying that no one uh, has ever been fired by um, having a certified person handling uh, the migration or the training. Why? Because this uh, uh, is a kind of parachute for the people internal uh, inside the company um if they we we have seen that if they manage the migration or the training by themselves which could be possible if uh, something doesn't work uh, and something will not work because uh, migration is complex and training uh, has to fight uh, the resistance to change so it's not a, a real and usual traditional training this uh, uh, in in a certain way uh, protects the, protects the role of the person that decides to move to libreoffice uh, they can complain about the people that have uh, been doing the work and they can say i i've used certified people so i've done my best uh, for the project to be successful and uh, i cannot be blamed uh, if something is not working or the project takes more time than uh, than usual uh, we have this has to be um, uh, it's a, it's a real advantage especially if you go in the public administration and in small public administration where uh, the the IT staff uh, is incredibly uh, small uh, and has to manage uh, a very large number of tasks so uh, of course it's uh, difficult to use this as a sales point but we can uh, hint uh, this uh, if we talk to people that is asking us to support them with migration or training we can hint the fact that using uh, someone certified uh, it, it also protecting has a positive effect on the person uh, managing the certification uh, um, project internally to the company or to the organization of course uh, uh, for the for the company uh, certification allows to um, identify um, suppliers which have a better competence and this uh, is especially true when we talk about uh, open source 
because uh, um, the open source world in this area is a lot less organized than uh, the proprietary world. Uh, if you look at all the large proprietary vendors, they all have a certification program in place. They spend a lot of money on it. They, uh, they get a lot of money from it. They advertise, uh, they promote it, uh, they uh, create the uh, data sheet documents. There is quite a lot. If you look at Microsoft, they spend a hell of a lot of money for certification uh, because this uh, uh, has shown over the years to be a very effective way of going to the market. So it's also certification is also a sales tool for the company. Um, a company that uh, if you are certified, uh, you are um, telling the companies, the people that you are talking to, that you have um, spent some time and effort to, to, to be certified. So to study, uh, to, to read, uh, to, to complete a, a program. And therefore, uh, this is, uh, in, in a certain sense, a guarantee of your, uh, of your uh, competence. And then uh, having a database uh, of certified people uh, uh, provides to companies uh, a, a useful uh, source uh, of um, references for uh, for their um, for their work. Um, for the for the supplier, so for the certified person, uh, of course. Uh, um, provides access to resources developed for certified professionals. In the case of LibreOffice, this is not really uh, visible, but uh, um, uh, if you are certified, uh, you have access to, for instance, to a mailing list and a Telegram group of certified people where you can ask uh, for information and, uh, and um, uh, documents to help you in the, in the in the effort. Uh, at the moment, I'm currently working at improving the bibliography. Uh, the fact is that I, I started to collect documents uh, and uh, uh, I'm now at the level where uh, I'm organizing the documents which are in the order of hundreds of documents. Uh, because uh, the reality is that, uh, for instance, a migration project is a very complex one, so you have uh, project management, uh, you have resistance to change, you have a lot of um, different formation uh, you can uh, use to improve your, uh, your skills in, uh, in the process. Um, being certified, of course, uh, provides networking opportunities, so you, you can have uh, uh, your peers that are certified in other markets that can help you in uh, in getting information, and uh, uh, it uh, usually, uh, and uh, this is providing true in, in Italy, um, gives more opportunities to, to find uh, to find a work, uh, and so it gives you a competitive advantage in the marketplace. Uh, so why get to get certified? Because you have knowledge. Uh, this improves your uh, curriculum or your resume. Um, we will, uh, uh, at the moment, is not recognized academy, uh, by the academy, but we will soon start uh, a program uh, targeted to universities. And uh, certification will uh, be part of it. It's uh, recognized by the industry and hopefully it will uh, increase or allow you to ask for more money or to increase your salary. Um, these are the drivers for uh, uh, seeking certification. So uh, there is, a, uh, you, you see that the internal business improvement and customer requirements are the two bigger ones. Uh, uh, we don't have a regulatory compliance in, uh, in our, um, in LibreOffice certification, because uh, still we are um, we are not regulated, uh, 
uh, but uh, um, we may we, that there should be a regulation there. Uh, it's uh, definitely difficult, especially because uh, large uh, proprietary companies do not want uh, any regulation. Uh, uh, they, of course, uh, regulation usually brings uh, openness and standards and. Uh, while these companies do not uh, like uh, neither openness and nor standards, but it's important in other fields and it could be, become important in, uh, in the development uh, area, especially um, when uh, now that some kind of regulation are uh, increasingly being uh, adopted uh, by, especially by uh, global organizations. So, uh, the EU, for instance, uh, is now getting uh, specific uh, regulation uh, uh, for uh, software used in the um, healthcare industry in general and uh, all software used in healthcare, uh, which doesn't mean only software for, uh, for specific uh, medicine, medical uh, medical applications uh, uh, has to be um, um, compliant with the rules. And there is also uh, an impact of certification on the job performance. Uh, uh, there are definitely the advantage in, in getting certified. Uh, let's get uh, specific on uh, on LibreOffice, uh, uh, certified people, uh, we, we consider them ambassadors of the project. So every expert we certify is a LibreOffice uh, ambassador. Uh, this is the reason why we have a, a three-step uh, certification process. Basically, the last step, which is the face-to-face -face or anyway remote uh, uh, review uh, which is in person uh, is the one that confirms that the person uh, is really able and committed to become an ambassador of the brand um, it's clear that if we certify people that then uh, do not behave properly when uh, they are training or interacting with users, then uh, this uh, reflects in a negative way on the company. And uh, therefore, uh, uh, we, we, we try to have a kind of brand control into the certification program and we will uh, make this uh, uh, even more evident uh, in, uh, in the future. Uh, a little bit about the the structure so we we have um, a project management team uh, i'm uh, uh, co-chairing uh, this with uh, lothar becker uh, we um, we have a number of people that help us uh, in uh, uh, getting uh, the, the the project running there are developers that handle the, uh, the, the, the certification of developers uh, and uh, uh, which is managed basically by the engineering steering committee. Uh, while uh, we handle directly the, uh, the certification process for migration and, and training. Um, we still do not have certified organization. This was the intention when we launched the program was to have certified organization. But then uh, we realized that um, the building uh, a structure and numbers was probably more difficult than uh, than originally thought. So. Uh, at the moment, we don't. We we, ne we did not attribute the the title to any organization, but I think uh, that in uh, next year we we will have to start uh, uh, attributing uh, the the LibreOffice certified uh, company to to some uh, to some structures because they they have uh, the the skills to do 
to do so. And the objective is uh, uh, to address corporate user governments and organization. Uh, how the, the certification works. The, the, there is an application form on the website, on the Document Foundation website. You fill in the, the application form. Uh, before filling the application form, you should read the prerequisite and uh, uh, some other documents which are uh, clearly uh, linked to the application form. Uh, we are re realize that uh, there is uh, quite a large number of people that is not reading these documents. Uh, there are also people that are reading them with care. The last uh, emails we got was from a gentleman that said, by reading all the documents, I realized that I don't have the prerequisites. And uh, I, I would say that the fact that he has gone through all the documents and understood them is already a very good start for becoming certified because it shows that uh, it, it's doing its job seriously. Uh, we, uh, we received the email. Uh, we try to um, understand who is the person, especially if the person is in touch with some people at the Document Foundation. And then we ask uh, the person to to provide some more details uh, on the, the activities he has performed. So if migrations or trainings uh, to have a description and also to have the documents he has prepared for, uh, for these tasks. Um, we are convinced that um, you basically cannot do a migration process if you don't have a migration plan on paper, or if not on paper, but at least a document that outlines all the efforts that have to be done during, uh, during the project. Uh, and uh, uh, at the same time, you cannot uh, train people if you don't have visuals that help you during the training. They may, the visuals may be, we are not, we are definitely trying not to um, block anyone, so we are not giving any specific framework for uh, for the documents. But uh, of course, uh, we want to see something uh, because uh, if you are managing a training or a migration project, doing this uh, without having a single piece of paper or a PDF uh, embedded, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's probably most, almost impossible. Uh, we look at the documents. Uh, uh, of course, uh, if there is someone that knows the people, uh, uh, the judgment uh, of, this, of the guys that are uh, uh, behind uh, uh, the candidates is, uh, is extremely important for us. Uh, um, later today, there will be a certification session for three people in Taiwan, and they're all uh, uh, in touch, uh, and uh, they have been strongly supported by both Franklin uh, Wang and uh, um, Eric Sun, who are uh, uh, to 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 cert not only to certified people, but are also two members of the certification committee. So the fact that they uh, judge the three candidates as capable of uh, being certified, of course, uh, is a extremely good start for the, for the candidates. Uh, but we, if uh, we were missing these details, uh, which are not details, which are important information, but let's say that in comparison with everything, they are details uh, we would have had to um make uh, uh, a, a create a steeper uh, process for the for the candidates because uh, um, we cannot uh, simply trust a person based on uh, what has been done on paper uh, so the process is not really complicated it may take uh, some time uh, because uh, uh, it is managed by uh people that 
for this specific project are volunteers so we are uh, uh, doing this uh, during our uh, free time and sometimes the free time uh, doesn't happen every day but we will uh, be uh, after it uh, uh, there is has been a slowdown during the last few months uh, because of the global situation but uh, we will uh, recover and uh, uh certify everyone uh, that has been uh, that has applied is, is on the waiting list uh, uh, rather soon um we will also have a certification uh, session at fosdem uh, and fosdem in 2021 is going to be a virtual uh, event uh, as much as all the others so there will be a certification session at fosdem uh training is very important uh in the case of libreoffice uh, uh training is key because uh, uh, most of the time we face people that uh, has either been trained uh, uh, on microsoft office uh, which is a similar product but uh, is not uh, as not the same approach of LibreOffice, for instance, the importance of styles in LibreOffice is a lot uh, higher than uh, in Microsoft Office. And in addition, uh, training uh, to LibreOffice has to include also some training about open source, uh, about the advantages of open source, uh, about the uniqueness of open source, because uh, uh, this uh, is something uh, that people uh, or new users usually do not know. And if they don't know, uh, they uh, don't appreciate the software. Uh, they often uh, look, see the free, uh, as in beer, uh, meaning. Uh, and uh, this proves that. Um, if they just train on the product without getting any information on the product on open source on how we do managed security uh, they th their approach to libreoffice uh, is uh, continues to be a little bit skeptical yes i'm using it but mm, i think that proprietary products are better just because i'm paying it uh, and therefore if i pay for something it has to be uh, to be of higher value than something that is uh, comes for free. Um, looking forward, certification uh, uh, takes time, uh, um, uh, especially now that organizing it uh, um, um, there are more and more documents, there is more and more knowledge behind it. Uh, we we will uh, uh, improve uh, the uh, tracking uh, of what is happening after certification we will probably organize uh, virtual meetings uh, among certified per person to discuss uh, about the uh, the update of their activities uh, because we want to increase uh, uh, the the uh, size and the level of the knowledge around LibreOffice uh, certification. Uh, we, um, if you have uh, looked at the marketing plan, there part of the marketing plan uh, is also a, a certification uh, branding effort. Um, we will definitely uh, deploy that uh, starting from early 2021 and uh, i think uh, i gave an overview of everything uh, uh, sorry again for being late uh, uh, i think we still have time uh, um, around 20 minutes because that was supposed to be one hour so if there are uh, uh, questions i will unshare my screen and uh, uh, show my face uh, so that you can uh, uh, which is not a big advantage for you i understand but at least uh, you can see uh, my face uh, uh, in uh, in uh, in your uh, screen 
Okay, if there are questions, happy to answer the questions. If there are curiosities, something around certification, how it works so far, uh, um, what we think it worked better and it didn't work so well, uh, uh, I'm extremely open to answering uh, uh, all the questions in a completely transparent way. Sorry, I'm looking at the other screens on my desktop. No questions, no curiosities. I've um, satisfied everything. You are all muted, I think. So if you want to, to ask something, you have to unmute yourself. Okay, uh, I think that everyone uh, is uh, happy, uh, at least uh, that you, you're uh, showing your happiness. I don't see your face, but I imagine that you're all smiling at me. Uh, and uh, if there are no questions, I think we can uh, stop the session and I will catch a coffee because I, from this morning, I still have to get my coffee and this for an Italian is uh, a real issue, getting to 4 p.m. without the coffee. So drinking the coffee in front of you. And I have an okay, so I I turn off my camera. If the audio is not okay, yes, I have uh, three different computers uh, connected to Jitsi. So uh, of course my, I have a good bandwidth, but it's not as good as um, I'm not sitting on a on a on a. CDN, so it is a good connection, but it is a little bit stressed now. And I have another presentation in 15 minutes, so uh, thank you for listening. I think uh, I will uh, uh, get out of this uh, at the moment uh, and uh, prepare for uh, my next talk in room one, uh, which is 15 minutes. Thank you and bye. Thank you.